Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can undo the changes that you have made to the Elementor page or the post. And I'll also show you how you can revert back to the older version of the page in the Elementor. Let's consider that you have an Elementor page that you created two days ago. Now today also you made some changes to that page. However, those changes are not appropriate and you want to revert back to the older version of the same page which was two days ago. So you can do that. You can reinstall the older version of the Elementor page or post from the history of the Elementor. So there is a feature in the Elementor which will help you undo the changes to the pages or the post from the older version or from the history. So let's see how does this work. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. This is the home page of the demo website. And you can see that I have some content on this page. Now I'm going to make some changes. Let's go to the top section and here I have a title. So let's make some changes to the title here. Here it says best New York roofing services. So I'm going to change. Let's delete best and let's make it New York roofing services. So we have made changes to this heading. Then we have the call button here. So I'm going to make changes. Let's change the phone number and I have made changes to the call button also. Let's scroll down. We have one image here. So I'm going to change this image. Click on it. Uh, let's use another image here. Let's try this one. All right. So we have made three changes here. Now let's see the history of the changes that we have made. In the left hand panel at the bottom, you will see the settings icon here. Then we have navigator. After navigator, we have history. Click on it. Now you will see the history of this particular page that we are working and this is the first version when we started editing this page. Then we have edited the title or the heading, then second heading and then image. We changed the image here. So now these are the four different versions or the history that you will see here. Now let's consider that you do not want to make changes to the image. Now, if I click on this option, heading title edited, it will go back to that particular version when we started editing the first title here at the top. Right now, let's click on it and you will see that the title has been changed. Then the image is also reverted back to the older version. So this is all about the changes that you made recently to this particular page. Right now, let's update it. Now, once you update it, it is going to clear this from the history here. Let me refresh it. You have made some changes to the page, then you have published the page. And if I go back to history here, you will see that that history, the actions that you made today before updating this page are gone. OK, so you will not see the actions there. Instead, you can go to this option here, revisions, and you will see the revisions of this particular website. So you will see three, four different revisions today. 32 seconds ago, we just updated this page. And before that, we have an older version of this page that was three months ago. So three months ago, I updated the page and you can see that version also. So if I want to use the older version that was three months ago, I can simply click on this option. What it is going to do, it is going to use that version from three months ago you will see there are some minor changes which uh, you may not see here, but there were some changes three months ago. So it is going to apply that particular version which was three months ago. But for that, you need to click on apply here. OK, so when you select this version, it will show the version on the page. However, in order to use it, you need to apply that version. And once you apply that version, it will revert back to the older version from three months ago. All right. Or you can discard it and it will go back to the current version. All right. Let's go back. And now I'm going to add a new image and let's see how we can revert it back. So let's go to this section here and I'm going to add a gallery here. All right. Just want to show you how does this work. So I'm going to add some images here. All right, so we have three images in this gallery. Let's update it and let's view the page. 
and you will see three gallery images here now i do not want it let's say after two days i do not want this version of the current page and i have made a lot of changes to this page and i just want to revert it back to the two days older version so i can simply go back to the history go to revisions and uh, let's say i want to revert it back to the previous changes that i made 32 seconds ago so i can select that version and you can see that in that previous version we do not have the gallery here you will see the gallery here so i want to use this version so i can apply it and update it so it will revert back to the older version of this page let's refresh it and you will see the gallery is gone so this is how you can undo the changes that you make on the Elementor website or you can go back to the older version of the page using the history feature in the Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.